have a... What the hell is this say? It's bad news, that's what it is. Beautiful, isn't it? The scientists called it the Nexus. They thought these bigger specimens acted as conduits for the machine's control signal, broadcasting it to the smaller forms. And that helps us how? Because I think they found the machine by tracking the signal upstream through nerve clusters inside the creature. Well, wait. We need to get inside that thing? Yes! This is such a wonderful opportunity! Wonderful opportunity. The son of a bitch is frozen solid. How do we get in? The scientists used heat exchanges. Let me try to ignite them. No, no good. There's probably a furnace on the roof. If I can find it, I can get it running again. Isaac, be careful up there, all right? Yeah, that don't hurt yourself. The Nexus experiment is, well, it's incredible. We have discovered two nearly pristine specimens and crews are working around the clock to uncover them. We're learning so much about how these necromorphs communicated. The whole species seems to have been connected by some telepathic signal from the lowliest foot soldier to the mightiest specimen. But where is the signal coming from? That is what I intend to find out.
I found the generator for the furnace. Now I just gotta get to the damn thing. Understood. Norton just thinks I'm trouble in a couple of ways. But you need me for the mission, and that's why I'm here. That plus, well, frankly, I hope... Allie, is that Isaac? Great, great. You two having a nice little chat? Look, he just called to say he got the furnace going. He's on his way back now. Isaac, I'll see you soon. I think it's frozen shut. I may be able to work it free by adjusting the pressure in the pipes. Hang on. So where's the sensor? Probably destroyed, but I did find the blueprints to make a new one. I think I know where this is going.
Over here. This is the blueprint I was telling you about. I don't see any of the parts necessary to make this sensor, but there's another research warehouse at the other end of the camp. Here's a schematic. What do you think? Looks like they modified a telemetry spike. I have no idea how it works, but yeah. I think I can build it with the right parts. Where's the other warehouse? I'll put the coordinates in your rig. It is most likely to be locked down tight. Here. I found these research passcodes when we arrived. They got us into this warehouse. Maybe they will work for the other buildings as well. Well, we'll find out. Back soon. I hope I can piece together enough of this research. Here's a question. Let's say this stupid experiment works and you find the machine, then what? Do you guys even have a clue about turning it off? Well, Admiral Gray has referred to a codex. She said it was the key to controlling the machine. Yes. I've been able to decrypt several of Dr. Serono's logs, and he references someone named Rosetta as being instrumental in forging this key. Are you listening to yourselves? You don't know any more about this bullshit than I do. If I can find the parts to make a sensor, we can find the machine. Then we can figure out this codex business. Oh, unbelievable.
Despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the sovereign colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect 100% compliance. Therefore, the military arm of this final quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tal Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the Sovereign Colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. If you are watching this film, it means despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the Sovereign Colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect 100% compliance. Therefore, the military arm of this final quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tal Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the Sovereign Colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. If you are watching this film, it means despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the Sovereign Colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect Watching this film, it means despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the sovereign colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect 100%. Hey guys, whatever they were experimenting on here, it looks like it got up and took half the warehouse with it. Oh no! 
What about the central cost? Three pieces, right? Well, it's a long shot, but I'll take a look around. Santos, I think I've got all the parts for the sensor. Excellent. Do you think you can reconstruct it? I just need to find a bench and call up the blueprint. It shouldn't be too difficult. Machine's location. If this planet doesn't kill us first, we'll find it. I'll be back soon. Hey, anyone been out to check the armory? No. Why? Oh, shit. That's what I thought. Someone with a trail of flares and they're still burning. Oh, God. You don't think Danik and his men are. I'm gonna find out.
This looks pretty lethal for science equipment. So what do I do with it? The research says the scientists took their readings internally. So, I guess we have to pry open the specimen's belly? Well, that would explain the harpoon guns. Oh, good. 